Hi, my name is Teresa Kovlak, and today I thought we would do something a little different. So normally you see my videos and I am using alcohol inks like these. But today we are going to use some acrylic paint and I'm going to show you how to make some bubbles uh, using some acrylic paint and some puff paints. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I have is a canvas. I painted this black and you can paint yours whatever color you would like. Um, I'm trying to use things they have around the house and I had some chalk uh, paint and it worked perfect. I painted it on with my little sponge and I did two layers. Next thing you're gonna need is some acrylic paint. This is white that I'm using. If you are painting on a lighter color, you're going to want to paint with black and then maybe some white accents. Then what I did is I took my acrylic paint and I put it on my little plate here. This is uh, a little sandwich plate. And I took and I added a little bit of water to it. And then I just took my brush and mixed it up and made it nice and flat and smooth. So I got a little gob there on my brush. I'm not worried about that. If I need it, I can bring it over. I'm going to set that aside. And how we make the bubbles with the acrylic paint is very similar to doing the alcohol uh, ink bubbles that I did on the last video. So I'm just taking my cup, I'm setting it onto my uh, plate there that has the acrylic. Then I have a plate that has uh, just a little damp paper towel. And I'm just going to touch it on there because I don't want too much paint. I'd rather have to come back and add a little. But there we go. So we are going to put some circles in. Again, I'm going to touch my cup. Let's see. We'll make sure you can see this. I'm going to touch my cup on the plate. And then I'm going to take my damp paper towel. And I can tell that it has quite a bit, but I tapped on it twice. And I'll just kind of figure out where I want my bubbles. And I like that thinner circle, so I am going to try doing that with the rest of them. Again, I touched my cup onto my painted surface. And then onto my paper towel. So being that this one is thicker, I'm going to make that my front bubble. And I think I might have enough paint to do another one, so I'm going to go ahead and just try. And I think on this one, I'll leave it like it's floating off the page. And put some paint on my cup. Touch it on my damp paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple of times. And I think we'll go ahead and put a nice bigger one. Well, yeah, let's go with a little bigger circle. So I got a different cup that has uh, a little bigger rim to it. I want to make sure my rim is covered with the paint. Come over here, touch on my paper towel because I don't want too much ink. Or I'm sorry, too much paint. I think I'm going to go kind of like that spot. And I just tipped the cup to the edge so it's going off. Now what I'd like to do is add some smaller little circles. And I didn't have a cup that was small enough. So what I did is I took the lid off of one of my little bottles and just take that, touch into my paint, come over here, touch on my paper towel, 
and maybe we'll do how about a circle here Again, I'm going to touch on to my paint, my paper towel, and I'll put this maybe more over this way, and some little bubbles coming up. And so you just kind of have to get the feel of it if you feel like you have not enough paint or you think you're going to have too much, just touch on your paper towel. And you can kind of feel it if there's too much it's number one it'll make a thicker circle like these two I kind of like that that looks fun maybe do one more right about I want them just kind of scattered but I feel like I want one right here hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it I always can come back and add one. That's the great thing about this. If you get all done and you decide you want more, you can do that. So right now my acrylic paint is still wet. So what I'm going to do is just give it a quick blow so we can go ahead and accent it. Okay, so that was just a blow dryer. Um, I do get a lot of questions on that blow dryer. The blow dryer is a volume series con air. It is a hot air, one and a half inch curling brush. I get all kinds of questions about that uh, blow dryer. So it comes like this, but that attachment comes right off. So you can see that I don't have the attachment on it. And that's how I use it all the time. So I get that question all the time about that blow dryer, but any blow dryer will work. So we're just going to go in and accent our bubbles now. If you have some of these little puff paints, these work best. What's nice about these is they are in the little narrow tube. And you can really do some great highlighting with this. And you're just going to go through and just give some little highlights to all of them. And I do use a couple different brands. Go ahead and turn your painting. That way it's easier to work with. And I try to just kind of bring my colors all over. So if you don't have the little puff paints or um, the uh, the tulip ones here then you can just use uh, acrylic paint and a little paintbrush and that will work just fine it's great to have some bright cheery colors Right now, with everything going on, I kind of feel like we're living in a bubble, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. A lot of people are running out of alcohol, so I thought we'd do something a little different today. And you can just mix up your colors, or if you just want to keep it all in white, you can do that too. And if you haven't used these in a while, 
definitely use a paper towel, give it a little squeeze on your paper towel and make sure they're working. But these are fun, colorful, and bubbles are addicting. So I'm going to keep that one there, my front bubble, so you can see, you get a paintbrush here. So you can see um, right here, what I did is to make this bubble the one that is behind, and I went with this one for the front because it is a whiter and then thicker uh, around the edges. So I put my accenting right here. So that works real good like that. But let's go ahead and accent rest these. And you don't want to overdo your accents, but you definitely want to give it enough that you can tell it's a bubble. You can do lots of little dots, you can do lines. You can have one bubble, just one color, or you can add different colors to your bubble. Like I said, these are addicting, so once you start, you're going to want to make all kinds of bubbles. That looks kind of fun there. I think I'll add some pink to this one too. What's nice about these uh, puff paints is it does stick up off the canvas and it will add some texture to it. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Let that dry down a little bit. You just want to make sure you give a gentle squeeze, not that you squeeze it too hard. And again, if you want to just come in with the white, they make a white in the puff paint. If you don't have these colors at home, use what you have. Um, like I said, pull out a paintbrush and just use some acrylic paints. Thought I'd try this little bit of blue here. I kind of like it. It's not quite as bright as the other colors. And so if I don't like it, I always can come back and add. Well, if this tutorial was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't. That's all I need from you to know that you like my work and you'd like to see me continue making tutorials for you. Like I said, on these bubbles, once you start, they're definitely addicting. What do you guys think? Pretty fun? Pull out your paints. Start painting. Take your mind off of things. I think I kind of like it like that, maybe. Maybe like that. And then if I, you know, think I want more circles in, say I want to add a couple more of the little ones, I just take my cap, press it into my acrylic, and put me a circle in. Wait for that to dry down a little bit, and then add my puff paints. 
So if you'd like to see more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram. Instagram is actually the best place to find me, even though I'm on Facebook. Um, Instagram is probably the best place to see uh, the majority of my work. And I certainly hope you get out your paints and get started. Have some fun. This is a fun project you can do with anyone. And it's relaxing. So we'll just finish off that little bubble there. Even though it's still wet, I'm just going to be careful that I don't touch my edges. And I'll bring a little bit of that pink in there. Brighten it up a little. And maybe add a little pink to this. So it's always fun. Step away, come back, take a look at it. You can decide then if you want more or less. If you want less, you always can come back with a little of your black paint and just clean it up a little. So again, my name is Teresa Kovlak. If you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I will be opening an Etsy shop. It will be under my name and I will soon have my work in there. So uh, if you are interested in my work, visit me over there. And I hope you have a great rest of your day from my house to your house. Stay safe out there and happy painting.